Hi guys, today I have a tutorial for you guys and it's on this very vampy look. Of course you could change up the lips if you really wanted to, it doesn't have to be this dark. But I really wanted to do this for you guys. Let me know how you guys like the new setup of me filming. Um, I try to get the camera closer to my face and also more lighting and try to look directly more at the camera and at the mirror that I have. So let me know if you guys like that a little bit better. I'm still trying to figure out a good setting for filming tutorials. So yeah, if you want to learn how I did this, just keep watching. Let's get started by priming the eye. The first thing I'm going to use is Painterly by MAC. And this is just a great base to adhere your eyeshadow to and make the colors pop and also wear all day long. So I'm just taking my finger and blending that all over the eyelid. Next, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, and the first color that we're going to be using is Milk Chocolate, which is that color right there. And this I'm going to apply in the crease with a fluffy brush, and I'm, it's going to look a little bit messy, but it's just like you just swipe it back and forth all the way across. Later on, we'll kind of um, buff out those edges so it looks nicer. So just buff, 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 and blend that color all the way through the crease. <clears throat> <coughs> Next thing that I'm using is NYX Milk, which is just a white base. And it's super creamy, and I'm just using this brush to apply it only to the eyelid area, which is where I'm going to put the star violet. And this is just going to make star violet pop more and become look super vibrant on the eyelid. And star violet is the next shade that we're going to be using, and you can see it right there. It's just like this um, beautiful burgundy color. And using a flat brush, I'm applying that all over the lid and patting it in just so we get like an intensity of color. The more you pat in colors, the more intense they look. With the edge of the brush, what I do is, is blend in to the milk chocolate so that way they kind of just blend in together. together. Then I'm taking just a small little crease brush with nothing on it and going through that division between the two colors to just make them blend together and just seamlessly blend one into the other. Next, that color right there is white chocolate and that is what I'm going to use with a fluffy brush as my highlight underneath my brow and just kind of clear and blend those edges so it looks a lot nicer and also highlight underneath the eyebrow. Next I'm taking just a small brush and using Star Violet and applying that to the lower lash line to kind of smoke it out and I take it all the way across the, the lower lash line from the beginning all the way to the outer edge. This brush is a new brush that I got from BH Cosmetics um, from the polka dot set and I absolutely love how small it is and precise it is to apply um, color to the lower lash line. Next I'm taking Urban Decay's 24-7 liner in 1999 and it's a very similar color and this is the color that I'm using on my waterline. So I'm just tight lining and putting that on my waterline to um, Kind of blend the two colors together and they are very similar in the same shade. So this is what the overall look is going to look like. Okay so this is the finished look and I hope you guys like this. It's very simple and easy to do and at the same time just like really pops out your eyes. I will have everything listed down below as always on my lips to kind of finish up the look just to let you guys know. I have the Jordana Cabernet and the Wet n Wild Cherry Bomb. So I hope you guys like this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. And until next time, bye guys.